Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's I'm Beowulf, back at it with another video out here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, taken out by 2018 SeaDoo RXPX 300. That's right, we're gonna have a SeaDoo video today, kind of sharing the love between the two. Also, too, just in case anybody is like, I'm not being biased of what brand is better. I like all of them, and uh, just if anybody's getting the wrong impression. Wait, I've tied up at this side. I'm, I'm so used to there was some boat there, so I tied up on the other side. I like all of them. I like my RXPX. I like my GP 1800R. It's like if you have children, which I don't have any children, but I have dogs. And if somebody asked which my favorite dog is, I wouldn't say I love them all. So it's kind of the same thing with jet skis. I think they're all cool. I mean, it's all different things. So just, I want that to be out there because it I mean, might have came off like I was like, being like this or that I'm just was I like to be truthful with you guys with videos so here it is let's get this thing untied up and uh hit launch down we're going that way again I don't like going this way there's too many no wakes and it's I think it gets boring going that way I like going this way uh, fire trucks and police cars coming in man it's loud whoa holy cow But if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Existing subscribers of the Beowulf Nation, man, if you haven't hit the bell notification, man, smash it like the Hulk. Uh, let's get it going. Also, too, I have a, a Tober giveaway. Check later at the end of the video. I talk all about what the giveaway is um, going, on, going on with it. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video where I talk all about it. Good to be on the river. Also, too, I got a trip planned in the next couple of days where I'm going to Orlando. So, going out to Florida for like a couple of days. So, that should be a fun trip. Stay tuned to what that's going to be. Because it's not going to be jet ski you know, uh, video, what that is. It's going to be a fun little road trip. I'll take it with my, my uh, younger brother. We're going to Universal Studios Orlando for the Halloween Horror Nights. Man, ooh, we gotta get a taste of two different Ghostbuster houses and Killer Clowns from outer space. Man, 80s overload. All right, we got a boat in front of us. Nothing behind, enough chitty chatter. <laughs> Every day's Earth Day. I picked this sucker up. Man, oh gosh, what's what is in this thing? Like sand or something. So I have I'll quickly show you this guy's if you're new. I have a barrel barrel bag I partner up with them. You can check them out at uh, Instagram at barrelbag or barrelbag.org. And uh, beats clean up bag. You do a do a hashtag when you pick up stuff. So we'll put the plastic bottle in there. Throw it there at the bottom. Every day's Earth Day. Doesn't take that much.
Oh, gosh, what the? Man, this is just disgusting. Somebody's using this for like, ugh. You know, it's like chewing tobacco or something in that crap. You just hear this stuff in there. All right. Throw this thing in the barrel bag. Like I say, man, every day is Earth Day. I'm glad to be out here because just to come out here for a short period of time to know you're picking up some of the stuff that isn't floating down the river and making a difference. It makes it all worth the while coming out here to go ride.
just like make a bar of Versep Farm goat milk soap. <laughs> like I just, just get lathered down right here and then take another rinse to take a shower. Man. I'm finding, if you could tell in the video, so I start turning the wheel like this and I'm not full throttle, I'm partial. And I had a multiple times where I just couldn't, it's just not turning when I'm giving it the gas. So, you know, obviously it doesn't matter full or half throttle. I've had it a couple times been doing that. It's very weird how this thing maneuvers like that. sucked up a plastic bag because of the Hurricane Dorian. I'm wondering, because the RPMs weren't coming past eight, over 8,000 like it's supposed to with the tune, now I'm wondering, because you could tell it's running different now going this way and back than when I first started. Like if something got sucked up in there, is that maybe that's why it does it, is it turning? I don't know, it's just kind of like, it's kind of just weird how this thing, I don't know, it's just weird how it's not consistent. I don't know, I feel every time I come out, it's like they'll run this thing and then it'll just change. And it'll run like this. And it gets confusing that I'm like, well, something wrong. It sounds all right. It's just these RPMs just change all the time. I don't know. It's like really confusing. I see there's like a log. I didn't, I didn't even see that. See a branch? That's a hard thing when you come out here and you're like zigzagging and stuff. Like I said in past videos, when you see me when there's big wakes, I try to stay as close to the center when he knows when I ride. I never really go over to the edges because realistically, you don't know how deep it is. And even if you had a depth finder, the depth finder is mounted at the rear of the ski and you'd already be going over it before you even know it. So, plus I researched into doing the depth finder, how you would mount it and go in there, like especially with the sea one. It kind of goes in where all this new, like I've said it before, where the supercharger is all in the back. It takes up all that space. That's actually where I have the OEM C new BRP bilge pump for this that they sell. And there's just no room. If it was bone stock, I'd have like enough room. It's where it would go. But having all this like other stuff modifying it with like the intake and all that, it takes up where it's supposed to go. That it'll be difficult to pull that the intake off and all that man look at the dragonflies are all out like crazy so i don't know i mean that's where it's like hard but then also too it doesn't matter if you had a uh depth finder if there's debris it underwater i mean realistically because this is a moving current that goes into the ocean i mean everything kind of goes through here the same if you saw in my last video where there was that what would you call that thing it was like a like a paddle boat or um, you know the things you use your feet I forgot what they're called like. I really don't see them a lot to know I remember being a kid going I wanted one but like that totally was in another part of the intercoastal that wasn't wasn't in it oh, man, too much water in my eyes I uh, wasn't in it when I went one way when I, I didn't see it so like the current moves really fast like that's why I said in the last video like stuff just like and the current changes because there's two separate ends of when um, like way down that way takes it down to this like past Merle's Inlet that goes in the ocean. Not where I go launching, a different area. It's really wide open and super rough and like 
made for really big boats. I've only tried once going that way and it was just like, it was just, it's so far, there's not a lot of fuel station. It's, it could be a disaster going down that way. So, um, and that dragonfly like nearly buzzed right past me. So, that two different areas of the ocean will affect of how this current goes. And also too, it could be the drag in the water. I did some research that the ski will sit a little higher out of the water when you're on the ocean so you can have a little bit higher speed and then when you're in the the like fresh water you sit down a lot lower which you can kind of tell in here uh if you watch videos i think you can tell a difference when you're out there between the two and this is some parts like farther down that way will be more they call like brackish where it's a mixture of salt the fresh and they have signs where it ends which this would be not considerate but there's all types of stuff that go up there. I mean, people see dolphins, I mean, there's bull sharks, you got the alligators, giant logs. Like, I have no clue what that is. I'll show you guys this. See, that's what I'm talking about. I had to think a lot, and it just wasn't moving. It's weird, really weird. I have no clue what this pole is. That's new. I think since the hurricane, who knows what it is. So I just know you stay away from this area because it's some jagged rocks on it.
and go. I feel like somebody hit me with a whip. My chest. Or my upper part of my chest. Shoot. Look at that. Look at that mark. That's just from a dragonfly hit you do it over 70. Oh my gosh. Put this thing in neutral. Where did the dragonfly go? Did it fly away? That's why. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Check out that thing. It doesn't look that big. But holy cow, that hurt. I got hit twice in the same spot. But here I'm in neutral. And you can see how much I'm moving this way down. So the current's going this way. So a lot of it, when you're riding, I mean, this is... This is a pretty fast pace. I mean, if you are if you got where your ski stopped working, I have an oar in this thing. But I mean, you really be moving quick, traveling. I mean, I got the thing in neutral. But what I want to show, if you guys seen my last video when I was in my Yamaha, both had a full tank of gas. This, I didn't even go even halfway to what I did. And the ski was hitting over 80 miles per hour almost the whole entire time. And this burnt more fuel than, um, than my Yamaha GP 1800R. So like I, that's why I just want to be give you guys real world stuff to not be like, well, this one's better than that. But if you obviously look at fuel, the Yamaha, both are about the same length, but I went twice as farther, probably three times farther, eh, probably about three times farther with three to four times farther, I'd have to say, with the Yamaha GP 1800R yesterday when I was out here and I burned hardly any fuel and like the whole time was full out. Yes, I was doing like carbon deep and stuff, but I pretty fine I was doing the whole same thing in the other video. So when you're out looking for a ski and you're kind of about, I mean, I'm kind of all about gas prices too. I mean, I barely drove and I'm nearly at a half a tank of gas. And I mean, I didn't travel that far down the river. Um, it's kind of curious, but I'm I'm kind of wondering, you'll see in this, it didn't go that fast. And it's just the ride, the thing fluctuated. And I'm just, I'm not, I think I think this this Sea-Doo and my RX-TX was the same way. I think they're just a little bit more sensitive of what the, um, the conditions are when you modify them. I'm, I'm not really sure, because it's just weird is every time I go on the Yamaha, it's consistent. This, and it's always been like this from day one. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's an awesome ski. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's just the conditions are different too. It's, it's probably, I think it's a lot more humid today than yesterday. Um, the current super strong. I mean, I have it in. Look at this. I have it in forward. Look at this. Here I'm in forward, and I mean, I'm, it's not even showing a speed on the dash of me traveling because of the current. So obviously, I'm moving. And it's not even dialing in a speed. So, well, now it's in two. I don't know. And then I want to address too, some people have asked, like GoPro has stuff where you can see your speed and all that stuff. I really don't want to do that because I don't want to be, for my own protection with videos, I really don't want to be showing like a huge thing saying what speed I'm going. There is no speed limit here, but I don't want to be publicizing huge, what, consistently what, speed I'm traveling and plus I think it takes away the view of what you're watching videos data showing like when I'm making turns it is it would not be accurate because like the current out here is so strong like I said before it would just it wouldn't prove anything to be honest I mean it's it all by the size and and a lot of what you can do performing this is just how in shape you are you know your upper and lower body with muscles uh, especially with your legs I mean this this the seat makes a world of a difference even with this grip um there's so much things to take in than just it's it's like taking a car and then claiming it you can do the same speed making turns but then it all comes to what fire you have on the car the suspension you know the skill of what you have i mean it's just, i just don't want to have it publicized i sorry about that but i just want to address that i'll address it in the comments but we're almost there Call it in a night.
What the heck's in this thing? Put it in the barrel bag. taking out my rxpx 300 definitely just a heads up that will be coming soon a future giveaway on one of my jet skis so stay tuned with that um something i just want to bring it out there there's not an exact date when it's all happening but it's happening soon uh usually what i do here is i have a fan running after i wash them down just putting these in place down here on the wheels um, but I spray them down and then have a fan con constantly running in my garage after washing them down. So it just lets air circulate through here. I pop the front of the fronts is what you, I guess you would call it on these. I don't know if there's a, what term you would call it on a jet ski. But the news on the October giveaway, I have a signed autograph photo of Dennis Rodman back uh, in the 90s. I used to live in the Chicago area. Had tons of autograph bowl stuff. I did the Michael Jordan basketball camp uh, when I, I think I was in junior high when I did that. I think I was junior high or elementary school. I can't remember one of the two. So I was a big Bulls fan. So I'm going to give away a personal photo that I've had for a long time since the 90s. Signed Dennis, Rod Dennis Rodman photo. Uh, it's going to be the October giveaway. So how you enter is you have to be subscribed to the channel, like the videos, comment on videos. I will pick somebody on October 31st, Halloween. Stay tuned. Be driven to win. Every day is Earth Day. If you haven't, uh, follow me on Instagram. It's I am underscore Baywolf. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure you check out the I am Baywolf merch at I am Baywolf.com. Got the hats, t-shirt, tank tops, hood hoodies. Check it out. <laughs>